What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Minton Outdoors. We, I am uh, in the vehicle headed to go get Bill from his house and we are headed down to Tennessee State Fairgrounds in Nashville. I think it's the Unlimited Off-Road Show is the name of it. Uh, Jeeps, trucks and all that kind of stuff. UTVs, um, all that. It's a big show for them. It's here in Nashville. I think it's the first time for it to be here. Uh, it's raining today, and that's because good guys riding customs here. <laughs> Every time I've been to that show, it rains. There you go. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go pick up Bill. Next time you see us, we will be down at the off-road show. I know I have mentioned this. If you follow me on the blog on uh, Midtown Outdoors on Wix, um, you know, I've been talking about this quite extensively, wanting to turn this truck into an overland. And I know it's two-wheel drive. And I know also that being in Tennessee, there's not a lot of places to overland. Um, but there's really not. It kind of, I mean, you basically back into a campsite, a campground around here, but that's all you have to offer. Um, but, this coming weekend when we go to Windrock, it's kind of like an overland place where we'll be staying because the campsite is primitive. Uh, there's no electricity, there's no water, so we're taking our water, we're taking juice to do what we need to do um, in the way of inverters and power supplies and that kind of stuff. So we'll be able to charge anything we need to charge, we'll be able to you know, do whatever we need to do with electricity. But for the most part, I'm hoping to be able to show that we don't need all that, you know, we don't need a 110 plug up at the campsite. And I'm gonna be better, um, more self-reliant, I guess we could say, by that. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, let's get down to the, let me get to Bill's house, get him, and we'll get down to the show, and we'll go from there. See you in a little bit.